Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be unboxing the Hewlett Packard Office Jet Pro 8610. It's the least expensive uh, model in the Office Jet Pro 8600 series, uh, but it's got plenty of features wireless networking, uh, remote mobile printing, uh, downloadable applications, touch screen. Uh, it's a pretty uh, feature rich product. It also has um, XL cartridges, or high capacity car ink cartridges that keep your uh, ink costs to a minimum, as well as uh, something called instant ink, uh, which if you buy this printer you should seriously consider signing up for the instant ink program, especially if you make color prints. Uh, if you're doing mainly black and white, you'd be, be better off. You might be better off using the XL cartridges in instead to keep your cost per page down. So here we go. Now in. Typical HP fashion, everything is right on top of the box. We have a package of instructions here, uh, it's sealed up in a bag. Sealed up really well in a bag. There we go, reusable seal. And you have your one page installation sheet. I like that. <coughs> one page. Um, information on ink cartridges. More information on HP Instant Ink. and a getting started manual in English and Spanish. And also the CD-ROM software, software CD-ROM, your ink cartridges packed inside here, and these are 951 starter cartridges. fax wire which you should use this fax wire if you're going to use fax I've said it before some HP products use a proprietary phone cable so your fax may not work so try this first if you need a longer one you may be in, may be in trouble you could give it a shot but um, like I said we've had issues with this in the past so use this wire uh, the power cable, there's no no brick. Uh, this is the duplex unit. We'll install that once we get it out of the box. And then we'll get rid of the car the styrofoam. And nice big bag to grab here. Lift the Printer out of the box. It's, it's fairly heavy for a inkjet printer. And uh, 
That's easy enough to get it out of the box. We'll get it up on the table. And then we've got a bunch of packing material and to uh, remove and uh, get the ink cartridges installed, media, etc. So uh, let's get it up on the table. Okay, there's a one page guide here. Remove the tray, install the duplex, plug it in, turn it on, follow the prompts, follow the prompts until it tells you to insert this, the uh, software CD. So there's really not a lot of help here. But um, there's a lot of packing stuff to be taken off of here. Okay, we'll work from the top and work our way down. Uh, there's a clear piece of plastic here that's got tape attached to it in a couple spots. Start in the back here. And then there's a piece here and it wraps around the side. Uh, there's another clear piece over the edge of the document feeder here. And way to get it off is to reach underneath the back. It's also taped over protective plastic here. There's little bits of protective plastic on the, the guides for the originals in the document feeder. And they come off pretty easy. protective piece inside, wrapped around the outside of the uh, edges of the document feeder. Uh, the shiny part on the outside here. larger piece that is well it must be complicated to pack this up for the people who do it it's wrapped around all one piece here um, and there's tape around the whole edge of here just tape in the back, we'll start there. And then this tape in the front. And this clear piece comes off. Something's holding on over here. Another piece of tape. Back corner here. And then this piece 
piece comes off. Now we can get this piece off. And there's a thick one over the top of the touch screen, touch panel. There's no keys on here, no hard keys. Touch screen and there's a couple of home in the back. Key lights up over here on a touch panel. Which is another on this curved part here, there's another piece of protective plastic. There's another piece across the back of the document feeder here, protective plastic. Most of the time we box these back up and when we're done with them, but a lot of this plastic is so fine, we're not getting, it's not getting put back on. Alright, there's a piece here to keep the document feeder closed. piece of tape on the side here to keep this protective sheet in place. <clears throat> and there's two pieces holding the Pulling the, tr the output tray in, and it's taped over the clear plastic protector sheet. Protective sheet there, There's one around each side. Okay, I think we got all of that clear stuff off of there. And then the Big long piece of tape with a gazenta and a media tray and a cardboard gazenta. That's that's it. Just a tray like this, it like that, and then you can put legal in there. You pop this blue handle here. No out stops. And you just pull it out all the way where you can and there's your um, output tray. It's marked for legal and letter, which is uh, useful because most of the time I just yank it out all the way and you don't need to have that extra space being taken up by a tray pulled out too far so it's helpful that it's labeled like that so I know it only has to go out this far so you're going to have to push it back uh, off the desk front of the desk uh, four inches or so so nobody pumps into this tray but in order to load the paper you have to immediately you have to take take this out completely 
All right. Um, the next thing we need to do is install a duplex unit. It's wrapped, the duplex unit is wrapped in a bubble wrap bag. Easy enough to get out. If you get a misfeed in the duplex unit or in the rear of the device, you'll have to take this out to um, get to it inside here. Now there's plastic protecting sheets on, on the buttons here and this opens up usually yeah. it opens up so that you press these two buttons so you can get if anything gets jammed in there you can get it out so Basically, it just it sits in there like that. And I left the clear plastic on these buttons back here. Nobody's going to see it anyway. And I missed a piece of clear plastic here. So that that takes care of. Getting it ready. Now uh, the instructions say once you get the duplex unit installed, you need to plug it in so and turn it on. So let's do that. Plugs in the bottom down here. You have uh, your wired ethernet port, USB port, and your fax and phone line ports there as well, right in the back on this side. And we're going to open this to another piece of plastic right there. Now the control panel is adjustable for angle. Power buttons over here. Now it's going to ask us to install the ink cartridges. And they're wrapped in a plastic strip band. And but we've seen these cartridges before on other HP models, they're really easy to install. So it's asking me to select the language, English, continue, USA, continue, set up the printer and connect to the network, touch continue. To view features available on the printer, touch view demo. No, we don't need to look at a demo. Okay, now it's uh, asking me to set the date and time. If the, somehow the date is set correctly. And the time is 11.20 a.m. It's pretty neat if you just flick, you flick the uh, numbers and they keep going past. Okay, 11.21. AM continue. Now it's initially initializing setup. Okay, it's showing us a little picture of uh, the duplex unit. It's saying install the duplex unit. I already did, just make sure that it's pushed in correctly. And then it says next. Alright, install the ink cartridges that came with the printer. 
and if I touch this little play a video, it shows you how to do it. So let's open up the front here. And let's show them unwrap the cartridges, which we already did. And put them in one at a time. Now, there's really not much to these cartridges. No seals to take off. All there is This is a black cartridge. All there is is a chip here, and that's it. There's no seals or anything to take off. And we'll start with magenta, which is the first one on the left here. There's a light in here to help you see what you're doing, and you just. Slip it in the color coded slot. And push it in until it clicks into place. And do yellow or uh, cyan next. Chain would be a little easier to do this. Click it until it clicks into place. Yellow. Is installed. Okay. Load paper into the input tray and select next. Okay. Now, well, once again, you always use quality paper. This is a Hammer Mill Copy Plus with color lock, especially for inkjet. And it's inexpensive and reliable paper. We've been using it for a long time. Don't cheap out on the paper. for letter A4, so you have to move this in a bit for letter. A4 paper is slightly longer and slightly narrower. It's a European size. So it's easy enough to put in. You just have to put it under this little thing sticking out here. Okay, paper's, in, paper's installed. Next. Touch next. Preparing printer. Now it says um, printer calibration complete, 11% estimated time, three minutes. We could do network setup while it's doing that. Um, saying view network summary wireless setup software assisted setup now if you're going to do wireless you're better off doing it now because you might have to hook up a cable a USB cable which doesn't come with it in order to um, set up wireless later so do it now uh, my uh, access point just came up and if you can do enter your password or you can use 
WPS. Uh, my router has WPS, so I'm going to reach over here and push the button. And the router. Trying to connect. So that's, that'll keep me from having to enter the password manually. And it's much easier than messing around. Uh, not connected, network name not available. Um, no, actually it says connection successful. It's hooked up. And an indicator there and here and I do OK. And web services are not enabled. Do you want to enable them now? Yes. Auto printer update? Yes. All right now it's going out on the net on the internet, checking for firmware updates and establishing a um, internet connection for the mobile HPE print mobile printing, which allows you to send emails to this printer with it and it'll print any attachments and it also allows you to download applications called printables that you can install on the control panel a successful web setup is web service is successful printer is set up web services summary has given me the email address of the printer and you can go you can print it out you can see it in the software once you get it installed and you can go to ePrint, register, and change the name of this because it's a pretty wild name. In fact, here's the sheet just printed out. It tells you how to connect to HP ePrint. And it gives you your login name and, and um, printer's code and things like that. And the uh, URL to go to on your computer. Okay, alignment successful. Okay, thank you for choosing HP. So I'll print it out this test page and hang on to this. Uh, so when you go on um, the internet to set it up for remote printing, it also has air print mobile printing for Apple devices that you have to be on the same network. But with ePrint, you can send an email from anything with an attachment to this printer, and it'll print out the attachment. So here's our touch screen. And it's just like the 6830 touch screen that we uh, set up the other day. And um, that's it. It was easy. The worst part about it was taking off all the, the protective films off of anything that's shiny here. But that's it, uh, piece of cake, and uh, nice job, HP. Thanks for watching.